Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. We are going to be doing a cozy little fall day in my life today. It's actually a really exciting day and I'll tell you guys a little bit more why later on in the video but here's a hint. We're going to Barnes & Noble today to pick up a new release which I am so very excited about. It's probably one of my most anticipated reads for the end of the year so I'm super excited about it. We're gonna do some fall shopping. I don't really have a lot of winter apparel. A lot of the stuff I have is just kind of older. It's run its course with me, you know, it's on its way out. So I thought we'd do a little shopping today. But yeah, we are gonna do a little cozy day in my life. It is so gloomy out, it's honestly depressing. We had a lot of rain last night. I think it actually turned into snow at one point. I swear I looked outside and it was full on snowing. So hopefully the sun kind of comes out at some point today. But yeah, I have a lot of fun things planned for the day. We're gonna go book shopping. We're gonna go grocery shopping because I'm gonna make a really cozy fall dinner. It's gonna be a fun, cozy little day together. You guys saw my little morning routine. We took Osiris for a walk. We walk him through the coziest little path. There's all these beautiful, colorful leaves on the ground. It's my favorite thing, waking up in the morning and taking him for that walk because I feel like it really just freshens me up and gets me ready for the day. I just finished doing my makeup, kind of getting ready. I did my hair for the day. I still have to change, I have to pick up my outfit. I kind of have an idea of what I wanna wear. I think like high 40s, low 50s out. So we are creeping into very chilly weather. Chris is also just finishing up getting ready. He was like taking a quick shower and stuff. While we wait though, I actually got a really exciting book package in the mail today. I'm low-key fangirling about it. It's part of a series I just grew up being obsessed with. I feel like it kind of shaped my childhood in a really bizarre way, but I got sent the newest installment of the Inheritance Cycle series. When I opened the package and got this in the mail, I was just totally fangirling because I grew up being obsessed with the Inheritance Cycle series. I was obsessed with Aragon and when they came out with the film. It was like my whole personality for a while. So getting sent the newest fifth installment in the series was such a crazy cool moment for me. And with that being said, I just want to say a quick thank you to Underline for sponsoring today's video. If you're not familiar with Underline, they are an imprint of Penguin Random House, which is like a publishing company. I actually have the first book here with me. So this is book one in the series, Aragon. This is like the OG that I read when I was younger. It just had me obsessed with the world. But they also came out with an illustration illustrated version. Absolutely stunning. It's the exact same story, but it actually has beautiful illustrations in it. But Murtog is the newest installment in the Inheritance Cycle series. If you're not familiar with the Inheritance Cycle series though, it's like a high fantasy series that revolves around dragons. It is so much fun. There's so much magic and action in these books that I just eat up every time I read them. Book one is the OG of the series. It had me hooked from day one and it tells the story of a teenage boy named Aragon. Basically he finds an egg, it hatches, and it turns out to be a dragon. The other books in the series then go through other dragons. Now we are on to the fifth installment and it tells the story of Murtog and his dragon Thorn. I can already tell this is gonna be such a fun one because it's kind of like a redemption story I feel like for Murtog and how he goes from being a traitor to a hero and I think it's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to start this. I'll have the link down below for you guys to check out the series. Check out the fifth installment. I can't wait to start this. They are perfect wintertime reads. I could not recommend them enough. With all that being said though, I'm gonna go change and we are gonna head out out.
We just got out of Barnes. We stopped at the cafe really quick. Oh, did you get a coffee? Yeah, actually? but I have three drinks in the car. I have a protein shake, a water, and a coffee. So we stopped at the cafe. Chris got a coffee, which I guess works out because we're going to the gym soon anyways. Yeah. But he got a coffee. I got a hot chocolate. And then we had like these like stuffed pretzel things. They were so, so good. Actually, here, you want to put that back there? This is your gym bottle. <laughs> I've got all the drinks. You want it? I got it. We are going to head over to Primark now because I'm actually doing a partnership with them over my Instagram which is so cool because it's like my first big fashion partnership I've ever done and it's just cool that it's with Primark. We're going over there really quick because I have to shop for like a new outfit for the November campaign and then afterwards we have to grocery shop, go to the gym, do kind of like our nightly routine. Barnes was very successful. I got Iron Flame and I got the special edition of Fourth Wing and then I also found the Barnes & Noble special edition of Powerless which online is sold out like I couldn't buy it off their website but but they had two copies left in there. So I grabbed that really quick because everyone has been raving about it. I never knew the intensity of the book community. Like you just bought a book that you already have just because the pages are it's black. A I could spray paint it for you. It's <laughs> Usually when we do these like rounds at Primark, I'm in there for over an hour because I literally can't decide like what I want to do. And this one was just so easy and fun. But now we're going to head over to the grocery store really quick. got back home and we're actually going to start getting ready to go to the gym. But first I wanted to do a little haul for you guys because I got some really exciting books, not only today, but I also got some book mail that I want to show you. And then I also want to do a little fall clothing haul because I have some really, really cute pieces. So starting with the books we picked up from Barnes today, the first one is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. You guys already probably know. You already know. This is the holiday edition and then the edges are sprayed black, which I just think is so cool. I actually just got more acrylic shelves that I can put up on the walls. I think I'm gonna put it up over there. I'm definitely gonna be like displaying these books on that shelf. The next book we picked up, of course, is Iron Flame. This is book two in the series. Today was the official release day. There's something about sprayed edges that just make books so cool. I love it. I love it so much. But this is the second book. I'm so excited to start this one. I'm in the middle of a three books at the moment, so I have to finish those three before I jump into this so I'm gonna have to be careful on book talk and stuff and be careful of spoilers but yeah I can't wait to start this but I'm so excited about it and then the third book I picked up from Barnes is Powerless by Lauren Roberts this I am so excited about because I've seen so many other booktubers rave about this book and say that it's one of their favorite fantasies of the year when I originally went to buy it I couldn't find it anywhere and then I saw that Barnes was coming out with this exclusive edition which I am absolutely living for I love the pink flowers on it but when I went to order online from Barnes they were actually sold out and I was so upset I was like oh my gosh I wonder if I'll ever be able to get my hands on it and then when we were at Barnes today they had two copies left so I had to grab it I was so excited when I saw it next up we have four other books that I don't even get me started these books are books that I have wanted for the longest time and I am just incredibly grateful that I was able to get my hands on them we're gonna start off with the real gem and it is Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood. This is the Illumicrate special edition of the book. These books are literally impossible to find on the internet. And if you do find them for sale on the internet, people are selling them for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I am actually a member of their Afterlight subscription service and they came out with a mini box of this book and I was able to get my hands on it. I am absolutely obsessed with this version. It has purple sprayed edges. The artwork on the front 
front is gorgeous and then this is the back of it it's also signed by Allie Hazelwood which is so cool she's literally one of my favorite authors so to have a book signed by her is just insane for me then we have a book series that actually came all the way from the UK I did get the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy this is Once Upon a Broken Heart and it is book one in the series absolutely stunning I also love the hard covers of these they are so pretty and we have the ballad of never after this is book two it covers really correlate to the stories and i just think it's so cool this is what it looks like this hardcover actually is blank but i think the spine is really pretty we have the newest and final book of the trilogy a curse for true love if i had to pick a favorite cover this may be like my favorite cover i just think it is so stunning i love everything about this it's just oh it's so pretty and then when you open it up this is also probably like my favorite hardcover and then I was also reading that this version, the Barnes version, and then the Owl Crate version have like different alternative endings or something like that. So I thought that was really cool. I also just love the backs too. Like may the best villain win. Not every love is meant to be. How far would you go for happily ever after? Everything about these, the details are just immaculate. We're gonna hop in to some fun fall stuff I picked up for the season. Like I mentioned, we had to stop at Primark. I'm doing a super fun campaign with them. I am basically styling a Rita Ora collection. I picked up basically like a fun going out nightlife outfit. First thing we have are these really cool black satin cargo pants. They're kind of in between relaxed and dressy and that's why I really like them. Then I picked up this cutie little baby tee. It has little seams going diagonal across it which I think is really fun. And then for over it I got this like mega cropped holy sweater. This is so so fun. I love how shimmery it is. And then I also just got this cute purse to go with it because I actually don't have any purses like this. I'm so excited to style this and wear this. It's so cute. Next we have two things from Amber Crombie. I think I did an Amber Crombie haul in like my previous vlog. I got two pairs of jeans from there. I went back and got two more pairs because that's how much I've been loving them. So I got their 90s relaxed jeans in the color black. The last two pairs I got were like a super dark blue and then a super light blue. I got a pair of black ones because I don't have any black jeans. I got a pair of those and then I got such a cute pair of leather pants. I love wearing leather pants in the winter time. They keep you so so warm. I decided to splurge and pick up a pair from Abercrombie. These are the 90s straight ultra high rise. And then last but not least I have an American Eagle sweater haul. I'm always getting questions on where I get my tops and sweaters and stuff like this. I get majority of them from American Eagle just because they're super soft. So the first First thing I have is this cutie little quarter zip sweater. I am obsessed with creams and beige colored stuff. I just like a very soft aesthetic clothing style. So this is absolutely adorable. I love following that. I picked up a cream stripe sweater. This is so cute. I've been seeing so many different versions of this sweater from other brands, but I really liked the American Eagle one the most. I also got the same one, but in a blue and white. I thought it'd be something fun to go into the winter with, but also also transition into spring with. The sweater I have on right now is also from American Eagle. I got this gray bodysuit because I feel like I just needed like something like this. Sometimes I like wearing just basic long sleeves. And then I also got a black one, but it has a sweetheart neckline. And I love sweetheart necklines because I think it's so flattering. But that is all for my massive, massive haul. I feel like I've been rambling on and on. But now I think we're gonna get ready and go to the gym and do a workout. It is it is a little bit late. We've been trying to go to the gym earlier, which has been really nice, but today we just kind of had like a weird late start to the day. So we're gonna head to the gym, work out, and then I'm gonna come home and we're gonna cook a cozy fall dinner. I'm so excited. It's like this cream pasta, spinach, sausage recipe thing that I found on Pinterest and I'm excited to try it out.
We have been home for a little while now. We made a really delicious, cozy fall dinner. It's basically like this cream sauce with spicy Italian sausage and spinach in it. It was so stinking good. My favorite thing to do lately has been Pinteresting like cozy fall dinners and every day I'll find a new dinner. We'll go to the grocery store together. We'll shop for the ingredients and then we'll come home and cook together and it's just been so much fun. I literally said like two vlogs ago that I was gonna vlog more often and now this is my third vlog within like one month I think. So I'm pretty proud of myself that I've been getting more on top of it and doing it more because it's super fun and I used to only do vlogs on my channel so I'm happy that I'm kind of bringing them back slowly but surely. I'm probably gonna edit and then do a little bit of reading, play some games with Chris, hang out. I'm honestly so tired like I feel like I go to bed now and it's not even that late. That is all from me. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. It's so abrupt the way I am reminded of us I found our stuff